Hi, I'm Bob. This is my house on 34th Street in Hamden where the Miracle of Lights will start lighting up next Saturday night at 7 o'clock. I am putting up my shelves to get my dolls put up on the porch. I got a bunch of animated dolls and uh, I gotta get these shelves up so I can put them up hopefully later today. Because time is of the essence. My wife's father bought this house in 47. He always decorated it. When uh, I married his daughter in 83, uh, I sort of got a little crazy. Then I put a string of lights from this light pole over to that uh, utility pole over there. And the Lou Wolf guy used to live across the street asked me to run them over to his house. And then all the neighbors said, why don't you run them across the roofs? And the rest, as they say, is history. My name is Elaine Doyle Gillespie, and um, I live on the Christmas Street. And my house is called the Peace House. And we moved here. This will be my third Christmas here. I would drive by the street. I don't know, 10, 20, 30 times during the Christmas season because my work was there and my house was there, so I always went by this way. And I thought if I was ever to buy a house, I'd want to buy a house on the street because it made me happy. So I wanted to be a part of that. <laughs> Once I came up with a theme of uh, peace, um, I started going on eBay just trying to find like what type of peace things that I could find. And um, it was very hard to find things that lit up since that's you know, what the street is about. And um, so then I started uh, thinking about how could I create that sense of peace. So then I, um, there, I got these little lanterns that showcase different religions, and I thought it'd be more of a multicultural uh, vision. Hi, I'm Sarah Jennings. And I'm Greg Freitag. And we're here on 34th Street setting up Christmas. The first week is so exciting, and yeah, everyone's the first, like. At the beginning, it's really nice. And then, like, it takes you like 10 minutes. It took me. 10 minutes to get from my door into my car and like actually leave that parking spot one time. And it's, and then it's also like, it's a lot of little kids and a lot of, you know, people are real happy and it's nice, you come inside and everybody's smiling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very festive. We had to put up a thing across our, our steps because people will come up and look in the windows and we're like, we're like just sitting in there watching TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Richard Jackson. I'm putting a stand up for the, uh, the family of Christ, which is uh, Jesus and Mary and all the shepherds and, you know, the nativity scene. The stand here for it. My family's lived here for 52 years. And everybody wants to know about 34th Street. Everybody comes to see the Christmas decorations. It's a pretty friendly neighborhood, street. Everybody likes everybody, most of the time. Everybody gets along. Except when it snows real bad and people want to park in spots, but you know how that goes. <laughs> there was a lady across the street, my grandmother, when I was a kid, and she had speakers outside with music and lights all over the house. And it always, when I think of Christmas, I think of that. And then one year, my grandmother wasn't feeling so hot. I thought, you know, I'm going to decorate this yard. And I put, I ran cable all on the ground. Now, I'm only 10 years old, but. But I run cable underground, I put all these lights in all the trees, and when I lit that yard up in Overly, she was like, oh my God. She was absolutely amazed. And I've never stopped since then. It's fun. Do you want to see something terrifying? Do you want to see the, where we put all this crap in? It is really, well maybe not, because then they'll come with like electric, the fire marshal will come in and shut me down. This is, this is all the tree. Um, where the tree is going to be plugged, or is currently plugged in. And then this is going to be everything else in the front yard. We'll be plugged into that one. And then they are plugged on to two different timers so that um, we don't set anything on fire. <laughs> because, and they're on two different circuits so that we don't 
uh, melt anything like we did last year. <laughs> One year, my mom, I mean, actually, she's been here 52 years. She put baby Jesus in a little cradle here. And one year, somebody took baby Jesus. It was amazing. Somebody took baby Jesus and went around the neighborhood and asked him if I'd seen baby Jesus. Went up the farm, threw up the street, down at 7 Eleven, asked him if I'd seen baby Jesus. Was looking in the street, maybe some kid threw it away or something, right? So it was about a week after New Year's. Baby Jesus shows up on the porch. Whoever took Baby Jesus, I figured it got to their conscience, and they brought it back. Still the Baby Jesus that comes here now, and then Mom put that now. Spirit of Christmas, or there was some kid and her mother said, you better take that thing back, or something like that, you know? I'm not really sure, but he, Jesus made it back. Yes, I'm always surprised by just how excited and happy it makes me feel to see all these people coming to the street and um, especially when you hear kids going oh look at that it's so cool you know what I mean that's just um, it's just a great it's just really nice and this is such a it's a community it's like so many people are out today putting up their decorations and it's really cool to see that I lived on my other street for about eight years and I didn't know any of my neighbors but within two weeks of here I almost knew everybody on the street so that was really cool too and people help each other out. You just talk to Bob, but, you know, he'll help me. Like, my first year, he was putting things up on my roof because I didn't know what to do. And so it's really a great community like that. So it creates that vision of peace, you see. <laughs> Years ago, when I started this in this neighborhood, I, I, I never really wanted to be something just secluded to this street or an attraction or something. So, you know, for people that have went back in their neighborhoods and brought some of this back, like it well, was when I was a kid, then... That's good. That's absolutely all good. Believe me. It really, really.